Well, Lee football can be very cruel at times. Um, fantastic performance from Manor Farm today, but bitterly disappointing to concede so late on and, um, and draw the match. What are your thoughts? Yeah, um, as you said, football can be cruel. Like we've, uh, I think, um, given our like best performance of the season to date, we've closely followed after uh, Tuesday night's impressive away win. And uh, the thing we probably didn't do is put put um, Froome away. Um, at one 0 they're still in the game, and they're obviously a course and distance team that stay in the game and stay in the game and stay in the game. And that's what they've done today. Like you know, they is more um, luck than judgment that they got the equaliser. They weren't really anything that was created by it, it was just putting the ball in an area. Maybe our, our guilt was probably sitting off and trying to protect the one they lead deep into it when we seem to have them stretched. So like, uh, I've got to look at myself and a few players look at themselves in terms of why we allowed that to happen. But um, in terms of the performance, I'm a happy man. Obviously in terms of the result, I'm obviously been really disappointed. Absolutely, and Lee, to have a team like Froome Town come here, obviously you know they're going to be right up there challenging for promotion just like ourselves. Um, and the fact that even when they scored the equaliser, that they were holding the ball in the corner and they were, they were, they were playing for the draw, that must have been pleasing to, you know, it's credit to Bristol Manor Farm for, for really pushing for him today. Yeah, I think that, like I think the, the comments afterwards that they come for probably come for a draw and managed to get a draw. Like all I'd say is we're a far more dangerous animal moving forward than we are at this moment as well. So, like we we've got players missing or players playing with injuries or or not to their full tilt and pit, uh, fitness levels. So. Like we're, we're only going to get better. So, like, say if their teams are happy with a draw while we're still operating at 60, 70 percent, then, then yeah, that might be a bit of credit to us. But obviously, at the moment, it's a bit disappointing that we've dropped two points. But again, like, I, I, I like um, when football's on is a bit of a battle with your opponent. You're not, you're not friends. They're, uh, they're opponents, and you try and gain, try any sort of a advantage as soon as the final whistle's blown. I digest it all and look at the opponent, look at ourselves, look at them. And I'll show, like I feel, like, the respect in terms of the way uh, the way they played today, the way they operated through, and they, like, say, managed to dig in deep and showed a good result to to grind out a point against a, a very good Bristol Manor Farm side. So. Speaking of players who are only getting better, Lee, uh, man of match today for Marcus Day, and another goal. Just how good has he been for us? Oh, like Marcus is, like you know, he's he's a player that we all like, we all love at the club. I, I in particular love watching players like Marcus perform. And he's growing and growing. He, what, what, where he's getting more effective in games is his his work rate has increased a lot in recent recent games. I think that he missed the Eastern game, obviously rightly or wrongly in his opinion, but like we left him out. And he's come back with the ump a little bit, and he's in his obviously his performance against Wimborne in the week was brilliant, and he's followed that up with uh, another great performance today. So consistency is the key, and that's what we want from Marcus. But then we got quite a few eye catching players. We got important players all over the, all over the pitch, and uh, we, when it gels as it's starting to now, then I think we're going to. Be, be in good form to go on a run. Lee, and our attention turns to another FA Trophy game just as we get used back to your league action, back in cup action, bit of at home next week, uh, you know, a big, a big match for us. Yeah, well, again, like the, the, they're all they're all coming thick and fast now. We're in sandwich in these games, and then we after that, I think it's Showlin and Tottenham. And see, so there's no no respite, and no, but we wouldn't want it any other way. I think uh, that's the league that we're in. That's the league we're involved in, and that's the league we want to be part of. And we want to be competitive in that league, and we're definitely showing that we are. So we like again, no respite, but we're looking forward to these games. Is like another nice crowd here today. Um, hopefully, we we can get another nice crowd here next Saturday. Get the tills ringing, and, and everyone enjoying themselves there because if you couldn't enjoy watching that performance today especially from a Bristol Man and a foreign perspective because so right I'll give respect to Froome but there's a one very very good football team out there and another team trying to frustrate so mm. like if you're a Bristol Man and a foreign supporter you're going to have enjoyed that game today. Lee thank you very much for your time. Thank you.